Greetings and welcome to a new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're gonna create um, like a target practice on a shooting range um, using a blueprint actor and a race. Uh, so I've just uh, started a first person template and we're gonna start by just making this uh, look a little bit like a shooting range so I'm gonna delete that and I'm gonna delete this and we will place the player behind here and then we can take some BSP and drag out a little box So this will be like the bars that will hinder the player from actually reaching the shooting range itself, well, or reaching the targets. <laughs> Let's see. So this was originally just supposed to be a tutorial on a race, but then I thought, you know, why not make it into something fun? Okay, let's see. So, the player can't get through this, but, oops, he's able to shoot whatever is there. Okay, so that's what we want. Now, let's create the blueprint class first. So, I'm just going to create it right in here. Blueprint class, actor, and we'll call it. Uh, target target thing yeah so this is the target thing add component cylinder for example scale it in a little bit like this whoops not that much like that perhaps give it a material M door yeah that's real cool man real real cool and let's uh, add a particle system I'm gonna call that floosh <laughs> because it's gonna be flames fire so yeah in the template here you choose fire and drag the fires to the top of it and make them stand up like that compile now select the mesh and go down to collision and we want to take where the collision presets are and we will take custom and ignore all except you could take projectile because we want it to react to the bullets and so that's the projectile and on the collision enabled you will take query only and compile okay now let's go down to on component begin overlap so when the projectile overlaps this mesh it will spawn an emitter so we're gonna search for emitter and we're just gonna take spawn emitter attached and this will be an explosion and attach component to other component then when this happens we want to play a sound at location and that's gonna be explosion one for example and then we will add a delay for like Point three seconds just enough to see the explosion and hear the explosion sound and then when it's completed we're gonna destroy the this 
Troy actor, yes. So now select all of these and press C to comment, and that is if target is hit. <coughs> I'm gonna give that a new color, green for example. So that is if the target is hit. Now compile. Now if the target is not hit, okay, so this is what's gonna happen. To make it a little bit more interesting, the targets will uh, destroy themselves if you don't hit them like within five seconds and then the game will end. So you have to hit them. <coughs> I'm sorry. A little bit ticklish in my throat. <coughs> Jesus. Okay, so right click, event, begin play. Okay, that was really bad timing. Um, so it's really simple. We just add an other delay and we will give it like, uh, why not five seconds? And then they will self-destruct, but they will play a sound. Play sound at location. Let's see, this sound was explosion 1 if we actually hit them, so let's take explosion 2 if they self-destruct, and we will give them another delay, and just 0.2 seconds is probably enough just to hear the sound, and then we will simply take quick game. So, that is C, if targets are not hit and we'll make that red because that's the evil color yes so save and save the game now uh, the target thing is uh, pretty much done so let's go on to actually create the targets themselves so we can go up here and search for target points. So let's drag a few target points out into the scene at different places, locations. Maybe one up here. And maybe one will appear, appear, appear. <laughs> Like this, let's see, four, okay, let's create one more and say that's okay. Up in the air, up here. It will appear up in the air, up there. Yup. So, now we got five different targets. What we will do is go to the world outliner and we will se select the first one and hold in shift and select the last one to select all of them. And then go into blueprint level blueprint uh, it requires compiling so okay now right click and just take add create references to five selected actors and here they are now right click and make array now add as many pins you need so four then we got five so then connect these like that so what we will do is cycle through them randomly um, so we will drag this out and search get and then drag this out and search for integer and we will take random integer in range and minimum that will be the one the first one which is zero okay this is yeah so zero in minimum and max four to make sure all of them are uh, spawnable you could say could you say that I think you could say that then drag this out and say get actor transform 
And now we right click here and take spawn actor from class. And then in the class, we will select our target thing because that's the class we will spawn. And the return value on the get actor transform will be on the spawn transform. And we could do this more, you know, complex, but we won't. So just right click and search for F. So when F is pressed, we will spawn them. Okay. So we can select all of this just because it looks nice. Press C and take uh, target spawning <laughs> array system coolness. Oh, yeah. Compile. I think we are closing in. But first, I want to make this uh, really awesome. Awesomely lame. So we will search for text. Text render. Drag this in to the scene. There's a multiple different ways to do this, but now we will do it like this. So turn this text. And while the text is selected, down here in the details, we will, for text, we will write press F to spawn targets. Like that. Give the text another color, green perhaps. Because green is so nice, yes. And I will make it a little bit bigger, 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 like that. And we will rotate it a little bit toward the player on the ground. And put it up here now. Okay. Let's see if it works. Save your work and play so press f to spawn targets f there it is and it works let's see if it destroys the game if i don't hit it yes so you need to fix that in your own way what happens when the game quits but so if we now want to go crazy we just press f and we have really bad time hit them all bad time little time Oh, I didn't make it. So, there you have it. Easy way to create arrays or use arrays and have a little fun at the same time. So, you could create, you know, as many target points as you want. I didn't make it. Okay, so, hope that was, that was helpful and have a great day.